What's going on guys? Uh, Sebastian here with American Dream RV Service and Inspections. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick short video today about electricity. All right, so I have one of my circuit breaker, which is a 15 amp circuit breaker right here that's turned off right now. In fact, I actually don't have any power coming to the uh, RV at all. There's no 120 coming in. Uh, but either way, I just wanted to point out um, I've been having problems with the fireplace staying on. Uh, it runs for a while and then it shuts off. The circuit breaker trips. And uh, typically, you know, I, I thought maybe there was just too much load on the RV, but it kept happening over and over. Uh, I think it happened about four times. So, and then I decided, you know what, maybe I need to take the cover off and take a look, see what's going on. And of course, as soon as I take the cover off, I start smelling uh, burning rubber. All right, so, and I found what the problem is, but I wanted to share this with you guys so you guys can be aware of your electrical systems inside your rig. So in this uh, scenario, what's happening is that my, the, uh, the 120 volt power supply uh, wire uh, for the uh, for the fireplace that goes into the 15 amp circuit breaker uh, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. That wire is making a contact with another wire. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. That wire right next to it. So what's happening is uh, when when both of those circuits are being used uh, and the other one is for the GFCI um, receptacles and what's happening is it creates a lot of heat and when when uh, two uh, hot wires are uh, have the, when two hot wires have proximity to each other what's going to happen is, is they both create a little bit of heat and eventually that heat is going to melt the rubber and it gets really hot so then the circuit breaker keeps stripping which is what's happening to me so uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fix this uh obviously cut that part out um you know pull the wire a little bit more and uh gonna take out the breaker hopefully the breaker has not melted either um completely that would be awesome so that way i don't have to replace it but yeah just i gotta do that and hopefully this will take take care of the problem so I took the circuit breaker out and you can see the, chire, the, the copper uh, wire is completely uh, exposed, okay? And you can see that part where it has melted. So again, that's because those two wires are making contact with each other. And when you have two wires making contact with one another, it creates a lot of heat and this is what happens. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to separate those two wires and, uh, uh, and cut the... Uh, the one that's melted and uh, pull pull it uh, pull out uh, more of that wire out towards the circuit breaker and just uh, do it all over again luckily it's not as bad as i thought the circuit breaker is fine uh and the wires are actually not as bad as i thought either so luckily um again the circuit breaker wasn't damaged at all uh just the uh, rubber insulation on the wires um so i cut the burnt part out and uh, use the newer part of the wire. And I just, for, for precautionary reasons, I taped the heck out of both of those wires that were making contact with each other. And I made sure that the connection is completely secure, that it's not loose. Um, so, you know, oftentimes, because either the connection is loose um, and there's a lot of heat going to it, so um, it creates that kind of problem, or two hot wires, are just really close to each other and then over time with everything running those wires uh generate a lot of heat and eventually it'll melt the rubber and if they're close to each other it's gonna create a short or um your circuit breaker will keep tripping um and one of the things you don't want to do is when you have a circuit breaker trip on you don't just you know push it back in <laughs> figure out why you're your circuit breaker keeps tripping and uh, oftentimes if you take the uh, cover off for the uh, the electrical panel box inside your RV oftentimes you could actually find a problem right there okay anyways I hope this video was helpful for you guys uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our YouTube channel 
and follow us on all of our social me media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great one. Bye.